Hello, and welcome back to episode 13 of Retrospective Progression. I'm Ardog, the creator here, and yes, I'm back from some time off and ready to continue working on this world. So, what are we going to do today? Well, I figured I should build that alpha wall. Um, this is the wall that we're going to set up between the central alpha 1.1.2 underscore 01 generation and the alpha 1.2.2b generation. And I've got myself some cobblestone to at least get the perimeter set up. So we're going to head over and we're going to go do that. So while I'm traveling out to the corner, I figured I should probably also activate my little uh, industrial farm mob spawner out here. I did kind of disable it a little bit, and at nighttime it might be running, so we'll go check that out. Oh yeah, it's, oh, it's, it's working. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I gotta go repair that little hole right up there, because, uh, that's not going to work uh, during the daytime. So I'm just going to pop up and I'm going to go fix that real quick. Oh, just one little hole. And we just do this. And now it's set up for daytime as well. And that confirms it. <laughs> All right. So here we are at the corner uh, that we're going to do our little uh, wall here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go four out here and here. So we've got this little corner here. This is going to be our corner tower. Eventually, I am going to put it out here, but for the sake of argument right now, I'm not going to worry about that. And then from here, we're going to go 16 out. So let's actually just make it easy on myself by just making it 16. And then we'll come out this way. I want to be three on this side. So this is right on the inner part. And then we'll come across this way. And then once we've finished that, we need to uh, come back up for this way. And we need seven here because this is the eighth part. So we need to come across eight this way for the next tower. Which we're going to have to... I need to make an axe. <laughs> I think I mentioned uh, when I was actually doing that, I need to make an axe for myself. Yeah, I haven't made an axe for myself yet. <laughs> but let's let's get this tree down, so that way we can just put down our basic look of our design of how we want the tower to look. So this is going to be the tower. So we're basically going to do a 16 long wall, and then a tower of eight, and then 16 and eight, 16 and eight, all all the way on down. So. I'm going to get working on that, and I'm also going to put it on the other side, so that way we can see, you know, like over here, we'll go one, two, three, four. I'll have to take that down. I won't worry about doing that right now, but one, two, three, four, and then it just goes right through there. So that, that gives me an idea of what this tower is going to look like. Do that here, too. One, two, two, three, three. There we go. So yeah, this is this is the main tower here, and then we'll just do one, two. Three, we'll just fill this in. I'm just gonna worry about one side at a time. I'm not gonna worry about doing both sides immediately, but eventually it's gonna look something along the lines of this. And if we actually jump up here, which I will stack up to here, you can kind of see the general outline of something that I'm going with. So, yeah, so it's basically here's here's a tower. I'm not going to worry about the other side of that tower, but this is where this tower is going to be, and it's going to go up a certain height. Um, the tower is obviously going to be a little bit higher than the wall itself. And then um, I actually have a different pattern I'm going to do because I do want this central one to be a little bit out further. Uh, and then every other one I'm going to bring out uh, just a little bit further as well. So I'm going to get working on this, and uh, I'll bring you back once I'm all the way at the end. All right, so I've got this done on both sides here now, uh, all the way down to that end. And now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do a little bit of tower building. Um, although, actually, if I think about it more... There's still some uh, residual bad guy energy. 
But uh, what I should actually do is um, every other one of these I need to make, or every other one of the towers, I need to make a little bit bigger. So I'm just going to pop it out by two. So uh, we'll do this out by two. This one's fine. But the next one we need to bring out by two more. Because essentially these ones are the taller towers. And what we're going to have is we're going to have the tall towers, uh, 14 blocks, and then a smallish tower, which is going to be an open tower, and then another 14 blocks, and then a big tower that has a, a little roof on it. So I'm just going to get the base of that done, and then I'll come back over here, and we will uh, see what... Uh, I'll actually show you what I'm uh, the size of what I'm going for for between these three towers at least. So I've done a little bit over here. Um, I just decided to only do a little bit, uh, probably the next five, six, or seven, something, something like this. But I kind of wanted to start working on building the towers themselves. So what I'm doing for the main towers here is I'm going to go to the highest point and I'm going to go up 16. So really, considering that this is like one here, I'm going to go up to about, uh, about up here. So it's going to be about this tall. Um, and because I'm up here, I'm going to just do this, pop down, take that back because fun. <laughs> um, and then for these towers here, uh, give me a second. For these towers, I'm going to be going up 12. So I already have 11 here. We've got this as our base. So we just go up on the highest point, up 12. So basically, we're we're going to have this at like the same level, maybe a level under the 12. And essentially, the walls themselves are going to come up to this point. And essentially, that's what I want to do for each of these. So I'm going to build each of these towers up. I'm only going to build half of that tower and then the, the whole towers for all of that over there. But that also means I need to work on getting rid of some of these um, trees because uh, they're in the way. One thing I'll also note is in trying to get rid of some of these trees, um, they're no longer decaying. And looking at the notes, yeah, they turned off decay for this phase. And I think... It wasn't until later in, um, maybe it was 1.2.2 that they brought it back, but uh, it might have been in beta 1.0 that they actually brought decay back because it was a different uh, decay uh, property. So, yeah, I'm having to manually actually have to break these because, uh, yeah, <laughs> they're not decaying on their own. Oh, the fun of alpha. So now I've got the towers built quite a bit. Um, yeah, these these are basically the height that I'm going with, the uh, thickness, obviously. I haven't got the walls up yet, but that's going to be my next thing. But yeah, I've done it all the way down here. And uh, yeah, let's, let's just continue on this way. And uh, I'll show you how far I've gotten. I may need to find a place to skip the night. Although, well, well, we'll, we'll see. setting i am going to point this out that uh, there is water over here so what i'm thinking is probably this one right here i'm going to have a nice little gate that i can just kind of go through with water and then on this side have a little gate that i can go through on so i have a, a two paths to go through um to the next side over in, into the new lands with the water um and you know i think this might be a good time for me to 
come back when it's daytime. So we'll just... Did I... Did I light these up? I must have lit, lit these up a while ago. But we'll just kind of stay right here and... Uh, Let's hope I don't break the boat. There we go. Yeah, so we'll uh, we'll get to see what those ones are because that's a it's kind of an interesting thing. All right, so now that's more daytime. Let's uh, jump back to it. So these two were specifically kind of set up to be kind of in the air because the highest point is actually up there. Um, and that's why, again, like I, I was saying, uh, that's 11 tall from the highest point and that's 16 tall from the highest point. So these two are a little bit taller, which obviously makes sense. Um, the way I'm going to be connecting them with the wall, uh, we're just going to kind of drift back over here for a moment uh is we're gonna the wall itself is too steep to kind of like go directly up this way the way i want to do it so what we're actually going to do is we're just going to slope it into this tower right here and inside the tower you are going to be able to climb up all the way to the top and then continue on and then on the way down it's kind of gonna do the same thing so you this these two towers are like the really tall portion and we got we got a couple more coming up over there um but yeah so we're we're just gonna we're just gonna kind of make a nice little gradual way in maybe two or three at a time and then uh you climb up top and then you go from this tower to this tower you climb down a little bit and you go to this tower so while i'm here um really must have spammed the torches here anyway uh i continued it all the way to the middle portion as it, and if you notice i don't have that middle bar that was coming straight from the uh spawn point so it's it's basically basically i took all of that out and took it all the way uh, back to the uh the tower that we're building but i stopped it right here because um yeah i'm running a little low on uh resources and i just noticed that uh my pants my pants are, my legs are going right through my pants <laughs> uh anyways um but i'm not i don't have enough here and i almost there's a lot of torches out there i i don't think i placed them unless you know, I totally took the whole week to go into peaceful mode and plant them there. But why would I do that? I mean, come on, this is, this is, obviously I wouldn't do that. Right? Anyway, uh, yeah, so I did stop right here because I need more of the uh, cobblestone, especially when I get to this part because, uh, yeah, these two towers were a lot of cobblestone. So I think what I'm going to also do is our second long-term project. So I can kind of, I have three, four, four projects, like I said last time, because, yeah, I tried to remember it all uh i've got my main tower i've got the wall i've got the growly challenge and i'm gonna make that dwarven city and i guess i lit up this entire place or someone did enough of that all right let's let's make landfall here and uh let's see here i also totally oh, that's right you gotta click this there we go uh i also totally did not just uh bring this forward to see what uh things would look like so i could also see what the land would look like God. 
I need to stop doing that. That's, that's, what, five times now? You do it in threes, and then you're done. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I did, I, I kind of did move it a little forward for, for my own personal look and things, uh, and kind of wanted to map out where I wanted to have the entrance, and I actually figured it out to be somewhere around here. So um, the entrance is going to be between this hill right here and the hill beyond it, uh, and kind of having this little stone area uh, kind of be like the, the entryway and then it's going to kind of go over there it's going to go all the way back into that corner over there and it's even going to go a little bit over this way and kind of going to wrap it around this way a little bit so the mountain's going to be pretty big and I think we're going to have like two statues on these hills right here and this um, I'm going to just put this here and then I'm going to go ahead and put a marker over here to where basically we're going to have just this big kind of gate, uh, Dwarven gate that uh, is going to kind of be between these two. It is going to be at an angle, which is perfectly fine with me. I could put it in a straight line, but I do want to try and give it a nice angle for that. And yeah, so this will be like the entryway into the Dwarven uh, Keep here, or Dwarven Mountain. Again, I can only go up 128, which is like 64, well, less than because I believe I'm higher than the, uh, the water level, so I'm definitely higher than 64. So, but I do know that it is going to expand up to 256, and then it's going to go all the way up to uh, 320, so... We're, we're definitely going to want to slowly work on sloping it upwards. Uh, but again, we're just going to slowly worry about this because what I'm going to do is there's going to be a couple places in here that I'm going to dig down to where the bedrock is. And um, it is not going to be a, it's not going to be like a full perimeter or anything like that. Cause uh, yeah, that, that's a lot of work, especially doing it in alpha or in beta. Um, you kind of want to have uh, some of the tools that you have in like uh, uh, modern Minecraft. So, so in the release, especially in like 1.20 or 1.21, I mean, you got slime machines that can come across and just make a perimeter easy. But uh, no, I'm going to be doing this by hand <laughs> for the most part. So, uh, yeah, we're we're just not gonna worry about doing that. So I'm I'm gonna find some areas around here that I could probably just dig down, um, kind of have like a little dwarven mining kind of situation where they kind of spiral downwards and maybe have some homes eventually that'll kind of go into them or like other other facilities. Get like a trading hall, some sort of like anvil area and i do know that at some point i do want to go into that negative area below but uh yeah that's that's gonna be a long time from now so i'm not gonna be too worried about that <laughs> so uh yeah i'll i'll just kind of get a nice little straight line going between those two points and then probably get an arch kind of not really easily like evenly going between these two but maybe a little jagged a little bit kind of give it a little character and then maybe do some other stuff around here well we'll figure that out All right so we have uh built the uh line here uh, i actually took a look at this i uh kind of did a little bit of uh math here i kind of figured out where this is and figured out that each of these was four. This was actually the starter one, so I backed it up with this one because it was only three here. But each of these go in four because um, it was, I believe it was 12 this way and 48 this way. Well, actually, technically 47. And then I just added that little bit. So then I just kind of um, put that onto an actual piece of paper which that's literally what I have right there. And I kind of drew out the uh, shape of the um, entrance that I wanted to put in. So that way I can just easily just place down the blocks that I need to. 
Uh, and we're going to start off with this. And I think I'm just going to do a little time lapse. Once I get up to the top, I'm going to drop back down and then go the other. So it's basically going to come up this way and then drop down and then come up that way and drop, drop back down. So let me get that started. Done. I just had to double check with this one because I put six here, but it was actually supposed to be seven. So now I could probably just come down this way, and I might take oh. a yep yeah, and take a little bit of damage there. And I think this is also, yeah, this is also worth oh. some damage. But I've got this set up. Uh, it is getting close to being nighttime here. But essentially, this is the archway that I'm going to go with uh, for the entryway into the Dwarven Mountain. Um, and this is pretty much going to be a nice, nice area here. I'm also going to do a little bit of maybe... Obviously, I need to do terraforming for this part. I'm going to be actually building a mountain here. Uh, but I do want to have like a little village out here and of course I do want on the mountain to have like little homes that are kind of nearby or something like that so obviously this is going to be the biggest project that you know I probably will be working on second biggest will probably be the uh, tower over there and third biggest will definitely be the uh, the wall <laughs> so uh, yeah I'm um... Now that I've got this kind of structure laid out, let's go find a place that I can start digging to get more stone, because I'm going to need a lot more. I have actually taken a look a little here while it was nighttime. Uh, it's next day in Minecraft. Um, and I kind of set this up over here. This is kind of going to be like the intro portion, or like the entrance into the... Uh, the actual dwarven mountain itself um i'm obviously i don't think i want to like dig like right in the center of it like i want to have the little shoot offs everywhere where like there's different dwarven districts and such but i figured over here i could tear down a little bit of this um area here and right here i think is a good place to have like a big like central pit of some kind um not sure how big I want to make this, but we do have this kind of down here um, that does kind of open up into a nice little cave area. So got a nice little cave here that could help us out. Um, and as you can see, that looks pretty cool with the entrance. But I kind of want to get this built up first. So let me let me just go ahead and build that so we kind of get an idea of how this is going to kind of slope in. I don't want it as tall as uh, that one is there because that's like the entrance entryway. And I may have like an actual like gate that shows up somewhere over there in the interior. So I'm still kind of planning this out. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of interested to see how this is all going to like fit together and... Uh, yeah, my, my, my future preview, just looking at this thing, like, um, when, when I was able to use render distance of, uh, over, like, 32 chunks, like, uh, yeah, this whole place was really cool. <laughs> um, actually, I think it was actually 20 chunks, uh, but, yeah, anyway, so, um, we'll 
we'll get this thing built up and uh, yeah, I'll show you how this is going to kind of open up into this area and then I can start digging on this and then work on the walls out over there and we'll just have half the walls done for that and the our walls over there and then we'll probably do what we can um, next episode to dig a little bit more get those walls finished and I want to get that wall completed complete all the way through before I start working on our growly challenge so let me get this set up so I've got this planned out. Uh, there is a little bit of a dip in this, uh, but I'm gonna try and see if I can make that. So uh, we'll start working on this one. this stuff because I probably should also do it for that one right there uh, is I think I I have that little extra little bit underneath there I need to take those out eventually I need to do that same here so I'm just gonna take them out now This side done. I'm gonna pick up all the stuff that I've dropped and we'll get this side done as well. Alright, that's done. That was a quick and easy one. <laughs> Alright, so this is basically gonna be like the entry gate uh, into. Oh, I need to take that one down too. Um, into like the main area here and off of this way right here and we'll probably put another like arch over here probably coming off of this one so i kind of want to set maybe something over i'm gonna keep this one in line to give myself an easy uh setup and i kind of think might be filling in between these two a little bit so we'll just go here and I'll worry about putting this together once I tear down uh, this a little bit here. But yeah, as you can see, we're going to have a very interesting like tunnel in here. And what I kind of want to do here is like have little stalls or like something like this is an entryway, but there's probably like a little. Um, well, what am I looking for? The word. Uh, like a little bazaar here that we kind of have and maybe maybe this is like a, a welcome center right here because we'll probably have something come across from here to here and we'll do a little like welcome center or an inn or something like that um or murder stalin something off of world of warcraft we'll see um but uh, yeah uh i think uh i'm not gonna worry about cleaning that portion up on the underneath underside just yet but uh yeah, I think this is a good kind of indication of where we're going to have our intro tunnel. So we're going to basically take that tunnel uh, from there to there. We're just going to fill it in. We're going to take that tunnel from there. We're going to come over this part right here, and then it's going to come around to that part right there. So obviously, going to want to circle this into about here. And again, we'll, we'll play it by ear, uh, but... Uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna go uh, work on getting some uh, some stuff done here, and I'll probably just get my I'll probably just do all this off camera, uh, get this dug down a little bit, uh, get some more stone, and then what I'll take what I'll do is I'll I'll bring you back in when I'm actually gonna work on those walls, uh, and we'll just do half the walls there, and then we'll just call it a call it an episode. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'll I'll get you back in when I'm there. 
There's our towers. So what we're gonna do now is uh, we're going to, what I wanna do is actually, I wanna have this tower be a little, like the platform up there be a little taller. So what we're, what we're gonna do, points if you get that reference, uh, is we're gonna actually kinda cut this in by two. So this is gonna go up 10. Um, and let's do three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nope, ten. There we go. <laughs> and then we'll just cut this in like so. And then we'll go across this way. We'll just we're just gonna do two by two. Um, so in that way I can just make it nice and easy for myself to just walk across this way. And then we will kind of cut this down and this down here. So now that we have this one over here, we want we want this to be 10 and we also want to go 10 over here. So let's just let's just hurry and get to the other side. Okay, so we're gonna do we're gonna do 10 here. Let's do 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 boop boop. Oh that's that's gonna be fun. Uh do that and uh, do that and no, that's not gonna work. <laughs> well, uh, whatever. We'll figure that out. Uh, well, okay. So we got ten here. Do, do, do. And then what we're actually gonna do for this one is we're gonna cut this down. Let's see, we'll, we'll do three by four. And then uh, we we'll, we can go straight from here, just right down this this path right here. Just boop boop. Now the difference is because this is going to be set up as a three by four. Yeah, three by four. I may I may make that a four by four actually. Because I think that might look better, but I just kind of want to get across the way here. So we'll do that. Um, yeah, four by four kind of looks a little better. Although I might, you know what? I think this wall is also going to be something that we're going to work on in the future too. I might want to do a four by four for right now, but what I might want to do is put upside down stair, upside down stair, and then two slabs. That that might look nice. So let's let's just make this a four by four right now. Um, I have to go down and get those things, and let's just jump down here. Okay, and then take a step back and that's what we're going to look at. So basically we're going to have the wall go up to one underneath or one above this. So it's going to go start right there and go to there. So let me go get those uh, two pieces. Don't like wasting cobblestone. <laughs> and then what we're going to do is, uh, well, first of all, we're going to do this. Uh, one, two, three. We'll do this one two three and two okay yeah that's perfectly fine uh and then we're just gonna we're gonna start building this wall just gonna we're just gonna do this and we're just gonna close this up and there we go knock that out and then what we'll do is we'll do the other side get that one set up so let me drop down there this one and 
as it turns night, we're gonna do, we'll put some light here. And we'll put some light here, and then doo -doo -doo -doo, we'll go here. Let's see, this that's gonna be one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, boop. And we'll do it on both sides and wait for daytime to take a look at what this looks like. And that's what the towers are gonna or the wall is gonna look like uh, once I get it all the way done. So I'm gonna work on that um, and I'll bring you back in once I get all the way down to the halfway point. And this is the result. So I've finished building the walls here. Um, gotten all the way up here. I've kind of uh, fixed up this little area here. Um, and we've actually got our nice uh, little um, bend down here. Well, not really. Bend. It's kind of a, a slant. Um, I'm probably going to look at maybe making some slabs here and maybe dependent on how much of a, a angle this is just to make it a nice not have to jump um kind of thing there so that way you could just walk right across it and yeah i did this whole thing so let's uh run the whole thing I'll stop right here for just for a moment just to kind of look at this. I'm actually going to be doing a little bit of uh, interior work here, uh, making a spiral staircase in here. But for now, I'm just using this little uh, way up. Um, it'll This will definitely look a lot nicer. And then it's going to be the same on this one over here because these are the two tall parts uh, for this um Wall that I've got set up. This one's not as big as you can see. It just comes from about right here. Uh, but yeah, the other one is definitely much more, uh, much more uh, intense in kind of getting up the stairs. So we come back down over here, and literally this is kind of the end. Um, again, I only did halfway, so I can't get all the way to the end. But uh, looks like so we're gonna have another uh, big tower. That's going to go up this way because, uh, yeah, this is a big mountain over here. And then this is not as big of a mountain, but it's much more slanted. So <laughs> we will definitely make sure that we have enough of that. But, uh, yeah, after doing that and starting my, my little hole over there um, and all the digging that I've done for, you know, diamonds and such, uh, I'm, I'm starting to run out of stone, so I think my next project is going to be working on that hole, and I think the main thing I really want to do for that is, um, is I kind of want to have a little base of operation, so I might start building something there and then have a place where I can put all the, the dirt and, and gravel and, and stone that I get. But uh, before we actually call it an episode, let's go back over here. One of the things I want to do is I want to connect this waterway with this waterway over here. And if we just take a look, let me come over here. And uh, I think this is the one that we're going to want to do. So let me stack up here in the middle of it. What you see here is basically kind of where we want to have our our gate from the uh, 1.1 underscore 02 alpha lands to the 1.2.2b alpha lands so we want to we want to create a couple of gates out here and out over here so let's drop down and dive in as we can see on this side it's actually pretty you know easy uh if we kind of open this up so let's let's do that and open that side this side isn't too bad but oh did i not finish this 
<laughs> I apparently did not finish this last little portion right here. Um, but essentially, we will have it over here as well. So let's... I'll get this fixed too. Let's just do this across the way for now. Although I do want to get this filled back up because we are going to need um, water in order for us to go from one place to another. And w one of the things I do want to have is like every so often gates uh, from one area into another area and then however steep it is like maybe do slabs or do like stairs to say okay you're going it there's a change in elevation here uh, but yeah so basically i want to create a gateway that comes from over here and brings you over to here so uh i want to finish fixing this little bit up here and then we'll i kind of like having this too deep so what i think i'm gonna do is i'm gonna build this little bit up here because as we can see this goes down quite a bit on this end and we need it to be pretty much even with this did a little repair work i finished building that little piece that i missed right there and um let's just take a look in here before we actually kind of begin to build this arch out uh, I did get some uh, dirt and sand to kind of fill in these locations in here because we're just going to go about too deep in here uh, this this one's all dirt and the other one's got a little bit of a uh, sand in it and what what I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting to bring this down by two here and for the underground or underwater portion like this whole section is going to stay um, stone it's basically going to act like a retaining wall to keep all the uh, the dirt and everything from the new lands from coming in um, so let's let's actually kind of plan out an idea um, once I get back to this island of how we want the arches to look. So we want the arch to kind of, we don't want it to go all the way up to, to the top here. So again, um, we have one layer right there and then this is the floor of our walkway. So we don't want to go about right there. So we want to have a good space. And I'm thinking maybe if we have a nice like, arch kind of coming around this way so we'll go two in on both sides and then i think we'll go maybe about f maybe four up and then do an arch around there so let's get back there and kind of plan out one side of this so we're digging this part out here we're going in to two okay let's just try and keep as much as we can uh, I am gonna put down a torch here for the time being and then we'll collect this torch uh, and then we need one more here and we'll collect that one as it's getting nighttime we'll just uh, go up here uh, four two three and four look a little bit back here i could just angle it this way so let's take a look and see what that does we'll just kind of dig this up this way we'll dig this up three this goes up two and this goes up one so that that gives us a angle here like so and what we actually want to do is probably bring this down to give it a more calmer angle I don't like how that one's not more connected so maybe we want to do that let's take a look back so it kind of gives it a little bit of a shape like that let's mirror this and see how that looks on this side so we're gonna go up three one two three one two three go up two and then go up one so then we actually get something a little more like that and I don't like that little top bit right there so what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're just gonna fill this in and we're actually gonna bring that in a little bit um, and that'll make a little bit of a nicer arch I'm 
should not have taken that one out. And honestly, when we get when we get um, upside down stairs, we're gonna put them there, so that way it makes it nice and and easy. So. Yeah, I think that's what we'll have here. Uh, what I do want to do, though, is I do want this to be, like, blocked off here. So we'll just kind of have this whole area inside just blocked off. So let me do this. And we're going to just kind of close this off here. Drop, let's see, drop that one down, drop that down, put that there, and then we'll come down here and do this. All right, so yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna make this go all the way across, and then this part right here, uh, that's on the interior here, we are gonna light it up so that way there's no mobs that'll spawn in here, and we'll do it on... Well, let's see, we'll do it right here. That should give us enough uh, light. Let's pull that one back so I can actually jump up here. <laughs> uh, and then we come over here and put some light right. Let's see, where's this one? I want to keep it a little symmetrical. So that's actually above the two here. So that's above right there. That should be right there. Uh, yeah, that looks, that looks right. Okay. Uh, so if we're, if we're looking at the light level here, this is, this should be a 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Yeah. Um, each block that you move from the light source, you subtract one that should put this light level right here as a 10 which means this middle part would be a nine. So we're gonna actually wanna do a little bit of light over on the other side. Uh, so that way we can keep it nice and even. So let's complete this part. And with that done, we will now tear this little bit down. actually put a light source here and here and then we'll do the we'll just move these light sources here because they don't actually need to be fully lit and then the next thing that we'll do the last thing is we will uh, get rid of this and the main reason we're doing it this way is if I was to actually take this one out and I was to take this out it doesn't actually fully complete uh, the um, the source block. So with with Alpha, I think this gets changed in the aquatic update. Um, with Alpha, the water flow is a little wonky. Um, if you did put a block here, it would you'd have to have a block underneath it to cause it to stop flowing and just actually make it into a a source block. Um, so that's why I'm doing this part right here is I'm just taking this stuff out so in that way it can be a source block because I want this all to be a source block as I uh, you know drive my boats over it, or uh, in, through this water passage so we'll just slowly work on digging up the stone here and what I'm doing here while I'm doing this, the reason why I'm doing it above is because it's easier to break. Because if I was to do it underwater, yeah, that takes a little bit of time. But if I do it right on top, it breaks pretty easy. All right, and that's done. And let's see if we can get a look at this while it's nighttime uh, with the, the lighting as it's starting to turn to day. And I I like that. I like how that looks. I like how that kind of sits there. Uh, and it, 
it does give a nice little archway there that we can just go through. Um, so we'll do the same for that side. So we have two pathways in here. And I'm hearing a skeleton, but I'm pretty sure it's something uh, a little bit deeper in here. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna open that one up, and then I might do that the same over there. We'll we'll take a look over there. We've got the second one done, so now we can have our um, waterway go all the way through. We've got a nice little retaining wall set up for both of these. And I was gonna take a look over at this one here. So let's let's do a little bit of water bucket climbing. <laughs> um, I could probably do it right over here. So give me a second. And let's start water bucket climbing. Put it up as high as we can. Pick up high. And a little, not high enough. We go here. And last little bit, there we go. And here we go. We're back up here. <laughs> All right. So let us get to the middle of this portion right here. Now, this one is a kind of it's an inlet right here. There's not a whole lot um, with it. Um, and if we go over to this little piece right here, this is the flattest part right here. So obviously we're going to want to do a little thing here we can we can do a little input here and a little input here but i think i really just want to do one of them so i want to fix this one up so that way we can kind of come into this little cove right here um and just kind of kind of see what it looks like so we'll we'll uh we'll work on that there it is so i've got that completed um nice little archway set up right over there and yeah i think i think that is where i'm gonna stop working on the wall for now until i get more uh more cobblestone because i'm just gonna use cobblestone as the base of this um obviously i don't have all of the materials that i would like to use uh, there is some little bit that I do want to kind of have like as an edging on this uh, Mostly to make sure that when spiders do climb because in this version they don't climb walls just yet um, I do want to make sure that they won't be able to climb and get to me when I'm walking the walls So that's that's a future project as well uh yeah, so we've got a couple of ways to get to the new Alpha Lands. Um, and then, yeah, I do want to say uh, this has been a big project, obviously getting to this point. And uh, yeah, this has been four weeks in the making. So I do want to say thank you for your patience in letting me get to this. I do notice as I'm doing these um, recordings, like... I am kind of stopping and using all those filler words like uh, um, and so. I'm going to try and not do that so maybe these last couple of clips you don't notice them as much, but uh, they might still be there, so sorry, trying my best. Um, I'm not obviously a professional voice person, guy, actor, whatever you want to call it. So, yeah. <laughs> Um, but I do want to, uh, kind of take you a little bit behind the scenes for a process here, um, of me, I'm going to keep using those ums and ahs a lot, uh, creating the, uh, the screenshot that I be, that I use, uh, for the, um, the thumbnail. So for this one, I'm just going to kind of use this as uh, probably want to go back a little bit, but not too far because the further away I go, the more the fog shows up. But I do want to come out just a little bit more. And that's going to be in the way. And even if I come up this way, if I go up enough, though, yeah, this should this should be good. And then so if I do if I press F1 and I press F2, 
you can see that I save a screenshot. So that screenshot gets saved in my, uh, where I have my uh, save file uh, under the folder screenshots. Um, what I did before was I actually used a uh, tool on um, uh, Windows itself to get the, uh, the screenshot before I actually had this ability. Um, so it, it just, it just made it a little, this, this, <laughs> this, ver or this, uh, alpha version made it a little bit easier and oh my pickaxe is probably gonna die here so i think i'm gonna leave this little weird thing i have here to tear down at some point in the future um but yeah so that this is this the that's the screenshot i'll be taking of me working on this and i basically take an overlay of the um the words so i put the the retrospective progression what episode it is and then what version we're on so if you see the thumbnails that's essentially it and then i use a uh, site called nova skin that allows me to pose my character and i just find a good pose where i can set it up and show that hey this is what i'm doing or you know hey i'm looking at something this is kind of cool or Oh my goodness, something crazy is happening. Or how did that get built? I didn't build that. Or did I? But anyway, <laughs> I, I was tempted, but I didn't. Uh, but yeah, so uh, that's what I do for the thumbnail process. And then, of course, when I upload all this stuff, it just gets all uploaded all at once. I schedule it to always come out on Mondays at 8 every two weeks. Um, except for the last time, which I scheduled my community post for that one. But, uh, yeah, um, just kind of giving you a little behind the scenes of my process here, because I don't know if many, uh, YouTubers actually do that, um, kind of some of the behind the scenes of their, their process, at least not on YouTube. They, they might do it elsewhere. And that cow is loud. This is a longer episode, so I think this is where I'm going to call it. I mean, I've got four weeks of stuff, so uh, yeah, it, that makes sense. But I do want to say uh, thanks for coming along with episode 13 of Retrospective Progression. If you liked the video, give it a like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz, and I'll see you next time. Later. Later.